Hello, I'm Paul Sparrow. I'm the director of the Franklin Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum, and we are honoring Yom HaShoah today, Holocaust Remembrance Day. Uh, normally, when the library is open, we do a, a lecture called the Morgenthau Lecture uh, that addresses important issues in contemporary study of Holocaust. Uh, it's part of the Morgenthau Holocaust Collections project we're doing here at the library, uh, which is drawing on resources that we have uniquely in our collection, many of which derive from the papers and the diaries of Henry Morgenthau Jr., who was President Roosevelt's Treasury Secretary, a good friend, and who helped lead the American response to the Holocaust, uh, primarily with forcing the government to create the War Refugee Board. Um, part of the Morgenthau Holocaust Collection Project is to have a scholar uh, who looks at our records, tries to make them more readily available, tries to understand the things that happened within the administration. Uh, and this year, uh, the Morgenthau scholar is Abby Gondek. Abby, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Abby, I'm going to start with uh, one of the stories that you have uncovered that I find particularly interesting, which is about the rescue of French children uh, and the process in which we were, they were trying to get them out of the country and both the internal debate within the American government and the actual drama on the ground of trying to smuggle these children out from under uh, the Nazi death watch. Uh, talk a little bit about that. When I began researching the, um, from the, the previous Morgenthau Scholar in Residence, um, she had compiled a uh, Excel spreadsheet of um, all the documents in the Morgenthau diaries that related to refugees during a specific period um, going up until the founding of the War Refugee Board in January 1944. I was looking for themes and I noticed that there were uh, several mentions of children um, and, and France in this sheet. So I started to get more interested in what was happening with these children. Um, and they were being hidden in private homes in France. Um, and so a Jewish organization called the Joint Distribution Committee was trying to, so like you said, smuggle the Jewish children out um, from France and get them into Spain and Portugal and also Switzerland. Um, but they were encountering trouble because any organization that wanted to work in any, any enemy ter territory had to have a proper license, and they had to apply through the Treasury Department, which was headed by Henry Morgenthau Jr. Um, but the problem that that kept happening was the State Department kept blocking the passage or the granting of this license. Um, and so what I discovered was that this issue was one of the key issues that triggered the founding of the War Refugee Board. Um, and it's not usually depicted as being one of the triggering factors. Um, several other issues are much more well known when it comes to how the War Refugee Board came to be in January 1944. Now, the team at the Treasury Department under Henry Morgenthau um, were very passionate young uh, activists, but they weren't really supposed to be directly involved, obviously, with international diplomacy and the plight of refugees that was supposed to be happening with the State Department. And so this conflict arose between the two groups. And, and some of the members of the uh, Treasury Department that were directly involved with this have gotten a fair amount of publicity. But at least one member of the team has been generally ignored by history. Would you talk a little bit about uh, Henrietta Klotz and the role that she played uh, in the general movement and uh, pressure being put on Morgenthau to actually do something? Sure. Um, so when you look at the Morgenthau Diaries, which are a collection of a little bit over 860 volumes, um, all of his memos, his phone conversations, um, his the letters he received. So his um, his secretary for 37 years was Henrietta Klotz, and she was the one who supervised the organization of these diaries. And each diary is about several several days. Um, worth, but each each diary is about sometimes it's 200 or 300 or more pages long. Um, so this is a great way to see what really happens on a day-to-day -day basis inside of the Treasury Department, and especially if you look at what are called the Jewish evacuation meetings, um, you can see who was at the meeting, exactly what everybody said, um, and this is where you can see the influence of Henrietta Klotz on him, especially when it comes to uh, Jewish matters um, and rescuing Jews. 
And um, she she often would say things that would kind of nudge him um, to take a more decisive action when it came to rescuing Jews. Um, and she often did it in a way to kind of um, praise him and kind of emphasize things about him. Like, for example, you know, you're the only one who could do this, um, you know, when trying to get him to approach the president. After President Roosevelt passed away um, and Henry Morgenthau Jr. Uh, was forced to resign, um, he sent Henrietta a really beautiful handwritten letter in August 1945. And he was telling her how influential she was on Jewish related issues. Um, and also that she you know, played a really big part in helping to win the war. Apparently there's a story that she would, every day when he would come into the office, she would give him a look, um, trying to basically nudge him and say like, when are you gonna do something to save the Jews? He would you know, have to kind of face that every morning and eventually you know, it wore him down to the point where he was like, okay, gotta take some action. She's a really important figure, and she really, uh, very few people know about her. Um, and, you know, you can see the evidence of her, her influence in the transcripts themselves of the meetings, which are in the Henry Morgenthau Jr. Diaries, which is a really cool resource that's fully available online at the FDR Library's website. Well, Abby, thank you very much. You're doing a great job. I think you're uncovering important things. Henrietta Klotz was just one of the many women who didn't get appropriate credit at the time for the work that they did. Uh, I think she played a, a really critical role, and hopefully as we make these materials more widely available, uh, more people can learn about what she did and all of the heroes within the Treasury Department who really did uh, help rescue an estimated 200,000 Jews. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, it's a way for us to honor Yom HaShoah today. And thank you all. Uh, I hope we uh, get to visit the library uh, once this pandemic is over.